Hello guys, I am doing a little bit of selective breeding up here. I'm basically moving some shrimp from one tank that will be moved to the grow out tank below and I thought, yeah, maybe you guys want to see it. I've uh, kind of been struggling to give you the content that you want to see for a little while, so shrimp content, I'm not sure if this is it or not, but yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, then please do leave a like, right? So, as I said, right, this is my a black fancy tiger tank. It also has some red fancy tigers in here as well. So these are basically they look like kind of like crystal reds, crystal blacks, but they have uh, stripes and stuff all through the body. They're quite a nice looking shrimp. I think I'll try and get some macro footage of these guys for you as well. And what I do here guys, the plan is is uh, the shrimp are born in a certain tank, so this is the breeding tank. And once they get to a certain size for me, which is one centimetre, roughly about one centimetre, I move them to another tank so that they can grow faster. Right? So let me show you an example of this because the, the difference in growth is quite a lot. Right, so we have a tank over here. I showed you this in a, another video the other day. Right? So you can see there's a lot of little shrimp in this tank. Right? And I moved it the ones that were probably about one centimetre, probably about two weeks ago. And in this tank now, they're almost fully grown already, you see them? They're almost fully grown, so th this is why we have uh, grow out tanks. I've started to do it this way and I'm just I'm enjoying it more, being able to breed my own shrimp and whatever else, look. Grow out tank, so this is a grow out tank for crystal black shrimp. This is a grow out tank for goldens. It's just a normal crystal red shrimp tank. And this is a grow out tank for the ones that we're doing now. Let's see if we go to the back of the tank, you'll see. You see here there's shrimp in here all over the place. I think there's something like 20 shrimp in that tank, but I just did this last week. And today we're checking the tank again to see what we can move out. So I can see one, two, there's a, quite a few in here. And I've already removed quite a lot out of the tank already. So I thought, yeah, let's grab the net and we'll see if you guys can actually capture me doing this on camera. We can actually get some shrimp out here right because as you can see guys like down here see how many small ones there is they're they're like this all over the tank they're everywhere right so if you want these tiny small ones to grow you must remove the ones that are slightly bigger and so i think i've got most of them out here i think there's only like one or two left in this tank so let's get the net in here i like to give my net a little shake just to get all the bubbles off and we're looking for the shrimp that were almost one centimeter there's one there this one, you see, so this guy is almost one centimeter. Very nice crystal, fancy crystal block. Let's get you out of the tank. And guys, all I do with these is I leave the net in like this. I wait until the shrimp comes out of the net. I don't like to force them out, like it came out itself there. And then I drip acclimate them to the tank below here. I won't bore you with the drip acclimation, but I just thought I'd show you this today where I am actually in here looking at the shrimp and we are actually selectively taking them out to go into the grow out tank. So there's another one here. You see? A bit one centimeter and this now goes into the grow out tank. Or it goes into this bucket here because I like to drip acclimate everything. I'm really really cautious with my my drip acclimation stuff because yeah I have found guys that there's probably about a 20% chance of the shrimp dying if you don't do this. There's a lovely little uh, ruby red there, little panda ruby red. You know the red uh, King Kongs underneath the net there. It's very, very small. That's what is, I find very fascinating about when you do a breeding like this. You get an awful lot of different shrimp coming out of the same ones. Like here, like th this one, for example, is just about the right size here. This little one, not that one there. This one here. You see it? It's a little King Kong. Little King Kong. Oh, there's another shrimp in there. Oh, they're about the same size, so both can go in. That's what I love about it, guys, when you get all these crosses, is that you can actually get all these different variations. So you don't have to start out with a lot of shrimp to breed a lot of shrimp. Still in there. You see what I mean? So we have all these red fancy tigers as well. There's another one at the back there that we can quickly grab. 
and uh, I think that will probably be it for this tag for today. Let's see, where did it go? That is it that one there? Or is that another one? It's this one here, you see it? Almost about a centimetre, this one. Just about the right size, this one. My tank is a little dirty in the front because I have tons of biofilm in my tanks with powdered feeding. But I thought I would uh, just clean this little section here. I do excuse the glare. Um, I thought I'd clean, clean this front section here just so you guys could see, see the shrimp a little bit better. But normally I don't really clean the front of the glass too much. Is there anybody else? There's another, at least two here I can see. Trying to get them before they go. Get away from that big red one. This one here. And this is how I'm able to breed and grow out shrimp so fast, guys, is because we have grow out tanks. It makes a world of difference if you can move the young into another tank because. The way I like to think of it, guys, is basically like if you have a farm and you have animals in a, in a field and eventually they will chow through the grass, well, if you give them another field, there's more food for them and they grow better and whatever else. You get the drift. I don't actually think there is another one here that I can see. But, um, yeah, I can see lots and lots of baby shrimp up inside the sponge filters here, on the top of the sponge filters. So, yeah, that's probably it for today. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if this is the kind of video that you like to see, where I actually show you what I'm doing in the tanks with our selective breeding. I know this one's a little bit shorter, but I just thought I'd put my feelers out there and see if this is what you want to see. Give it a big like if you do, and I'll try and make more content like this. Happy shrimp keeping. Whoop.